We've seen in previous tutorials the ADC object taking in sound from a microphone and sending it to the tab right object to show out in an array. So we've just done this again, uh, just at the start of this tutorial that we're going to see the right SF object. And it's really just to make sure that sound is coming in from that ADC object. So the right SF object, very similar to the read SF object, except it's in reverse. So right SF, again, it's dealing with sound waves, so I need to put in a tilde after it. We'll notice as soon as we actually write it that we've only just got one inlet on it. And so the types of messages that we need to send it. We need to create a new file. So let's create a message box. And let's type in open and put in the file name that we want to save it to. So I'll just put example.wave. We could put example.aiff either. And also we want to... Um, uh, start recording to it straight away. I could put this in a separate message, uh, but I'll just put a comma in here and just send start straight away. So it will just have me click once to actually start recording and creating the file all in one go. Now, it might be tempting to put in a one here, and I know the read SF object works with a one or a zero to start and stop, but I just find that the write SF object is a little bit more fussy than that. It really likes the start uh, message and it likes the stop message to stop recording rather than a one and a zero. So let's just connect those into the top of right SF. And then I'm just going to take the sound wave. Again, I've multiplied it by five times just to get a bit of volume on it. And uh, once we run this, click on open example dot wave and it started recording there. So it should be recording our voice right now. And then click on stop to stop recording. If I go to the desktop, I'll see there that example.wave has been created. It's in the same directory as the right SF example PD patch that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I could have put in a file path here if I wanted to put it in, put it in a separate directory, but uh, it's fine being on the desktop for the moment. Now to play this file back, we could actually just drag it into QuickTime or use it in some other type of program. But because we're in the middle of pure data, we may as well just use pure data to read it back as well read sf object and we want a message that says open example dot wave is the name of the wave file and we can go comma start or comma one read sf isn't as fussy as write sf so i'm just going to use a one there and that's fine and we can just send it to a dac object which sends it out to the speakers Okay, so run that. Open example dot wave and it started recording there, so it should be recording our voice right now. And then click on stop. And so that was the little piece of audio that we had earlier on. The great thing about it is as well, once we use start and stop with write SF, it's very easy to overwrite some type of uh, sound in example dot wave. So let's <whistles> let's record that little piece of a whistle from me. And <whistles> and there it is the right SF object in pure data.